Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Cassidy and today I decided that I wanted to do a weekend reading vlog. So my weekend is different from a lot of people's. My weekend is actually Sunday, Monday. So today is actually Saturday. I just got home from work. I look like a mess. <laughs> I'm really sweaty. It's nasty. It's very warm. Um, but anyway, I wanted to start my weekend reading vlog on technically my Friday night uh, because I thought I would be getting a lot of reading done and I hope that I do get a lot of reading done. But yeah, I am so glad it's my Friday. My weeks, past few weeks have been absolutely bonkers um at my job i am a bookseller if you don't know i work at a bookstore and we opened to the public like three weeks ago a little over three weeks ago i live in new york as well not the city i live in new york state um but yeah we opened like three weeks ago and we had to cut back on staff and it was really bad um i'm exhausted finally we're getting more people in but i'm still really tired um but yeah i today also like what is wrong with people just like picking up a book and just putting it in the entirely wrong spot i found a a baldwin book today i will insert a clip here because it's just what what are you doing putting a Baldwin book, Go Tell It on the Mountain, in the sci-fi section in the G's? It makes no sense. Um, but yeah, I found that today and it was just like, really people? Stop being lazy. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to start my weekend reading vlog, so I thought it would also be a good idea to talk about the books that I want to get through or work on. So I want to... F I want to try to finish two books during this my weekend. I have already started one and I actually started another one as well but I won't be able to finish the second one because it's too long. But I want to finish one of them that I started and then start another book and hopefully finish that one as well. So let me talk about the ones that I have here in front of me. So these are the two books that I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading Stamped from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. So this is a novel that is very not novel really it is one that is um popular and selling out because it is the definitive history of racist ideas in america it is one that i think everybody should be reading i am currently 80 pages into it right now i believe um and i'm marking as you can see i'm marking uh things but yeah it's a lot of heavy stuff um only because of the topic and he He's just a great writer to begin with, but he has a lot of good, like, information in there that really flows and connects well, um, but it's really heavy, heavy stuff, but I think it's stuff that a lot of people need to know and read about. Yeah, I'm slowly making my way through this, but I do want to finish Seasons of the Storm by El Casimano. So this is a young adult fantasy book um, that I think just recently came out. I am on page 151 of it and yeah I am kind of enjoying it. I, I like how unique it is but yeah I want to finish this one uh, for sure so hopefully I can um, get that done or like almost done by the end of the night tonight but in the meantime I need to eat some food. I'm gonna get some burger fry in my belly. Oh, and before I eat, I wanted to share with you something that I got at my bookstore today. I just thought he was really freaking cute and I just needed him in my life. So, I got him. <laughs> I also um, purchased him, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what his name is yet. Um, comment down below what I should name this little dude. But yeah, I got him because he is made of recycled materials. This company makes uh, stuffed animals from recycled um, materials like water bottles and things like that. So I decided that I really just needed him and he's going to just live on my chair in the corner and just, you know, have a good time. But comment down below and let me know what I should name this dude. So it's still Saturday. It is like 8.30 now. I've been reading for about like 30 minutes. And I wanted to do like a little update for my reading progress. I've read about 50 pages because now I am on page 
203. I was on like 151 or something like that. But I realized I never told you what this book was about. So basically, it's set in this world where the seasons are personified and they are put into people, normally like teenagers. So basically what happens is a teenager will die and they are met by this goddess and she will give them a ch the choice of dying or becoming a season. And obviously there's four seasons, spring, summer, winter, and fall. If you choose to become a season, you now have to take part in this like never-ending game. You have to kill the season that precedes you. This is like a kind of enemies to lovers romance but also star-crossed lovers because spring and winter are in love with each other. And there are many, many seasons because there's different seasons for every state, country, everywhere in the world. Um, this book is not what I was expecting it to be from what I read from the synopsis because I thought it was going to be star-crossed lovers, you know, they have to keep killing each other every season, every year. They have to then go and kill each other, um, and they get, like, regenerated or something. I thought it was just going to be normal star-crossed lovers kind of shindig, and that's not really what it is. It also has a lot to do with, like, technology, too, um, and now everybody's on the run. Like, the four seasons, the four main seasons that we have come across are on the run. Um, trying to escape the people that created them and they're realizing everything that they thought they knew is actually a lie like they can actually survive out in the world without you know all this technology that keeps them alive and all this kind of stuff so I am enjoying it it just wasn't what I was expecting <laughs> but yeah I'm going to continue to read and um, see where this goes so yeah. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday. I decided I wanted to step outside real quick because the heat wave has finally broken and it is nice and cool. It's been raining today, so this is the perfect day to make some progress in some reading. So I also today want to get some videos filmed. Um, I I'm not ready for the day yet at all. I did take a shower, but I need to like put makeup on and get dressed and stuff like that. But I am going to be finishing this today. Last night I stayed up until like 1.30 in the morning, which is late for me lately. <laughs> I can't stay up that late anymore, but um, I'm on page 263, so I read 100 pages yesterday of Seasons of the Storm, so I'm going to try to finish this today. I, I think I'm kind of enjoying it. It's like kind of not really what I was expecting. I said this in my previous clip, but... Yeah, I think right now it's sitting at a solid three stars for me, so it's not like I don't like it. Three stars is actually a really good rating, but yeah, um, it's just like a three stars. It's kind of average, but it's, it is unique, so I hope to finish this today and hopefully start another book. I don't know what other book I'm going to be reading, but I hope to start another one and finish it over my weekend, which is today, Sunday, and tomorrow, which is Monday. I'm hoping this video will also be up by Wednesday, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to step outside, do a little update, and uh, go back to reading. I do need to make some coffee because it is like nine in the morning right now. I got up at like seven um, and I'm a little tired. So I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm gonna get some breakfast and I'm gonna read. So I put coffee in the fridge last night because I wanted iced coffee this morning. I really got some iced coffee. <laughs> Just living my best life while it's raining outside. Hey everyone, so I am here to update you all on my reading and what I have done so far today. I wanted to film two videos. That did not happen. <laughs> it is now like 5.30 in the afternoon. I did some errands. I went to Target and I had to go to PetSmart. My boyfriend and I were throughout this past week uh, getting stuff for a fish tank and we um, finally got some fish today. They're not actually in the tank itself quite yet 
or rather they're not free in the tank yet but once they are I will insert like a clip here for you we got four fish like two tetras and don't really remember what the other kind is but yes yeah, so we did that today and I think the fish tank is really cute so uh yeah <laughs> we did that but I did want to update you I finished season seasons of the storm by El Casimano I gave it two out of five stars <laughs> it might be like a 2.5 out of five stars but the thing of it is is I couldn't really connect to the characters they were very like one-dimensional like not one-dimensional two-dimensional whatever it is there was no you know depth to them the only two characters I really cared about are were um, Amber and Julio <laughs> and those are the only two and I really like their like relationship that they had going on also every single relationship in this was heterosexual so there was like six people all together and they all be quiet for me please <laughs> um there were like six people all together and they all were in a relationship so didn't really like that i thought there should have been more diversity in that sense um i also didn't really like how things were like or actually the lack of explanation in this i just thought it was very bland i kind of skimmed through the last little bit of it because I just didn't care what was happening. I didn't care about the characters. I didn't care what the end result was going to be. Um, I think the author has potential, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't really care for the story too much, which is rather disappointing because I was really looking forward to this. And I think it like just came out um, at the end of June which is now, but I think it either came out last Tuesday, like the 23rd, or it's coming out this Tuesday which is the 30th I think um but anyway yeah I finished that but so any one book down yay that's what I wanted to do today but I did want to finish another book and I decided I wanted to start Burn Our Bar Bodies Down by Rory Power who is the author of Wilder Girls I have not read Wilder Girls um I do want to read it I've heard phenomenal things about it but yeah, I am interested in reading this one, have no clue what it's about. Even like reading the back, it's kind of just like, okay, going back to your mother's small town, there's a mystery going on, maybe some paranormal stuff is going to happen, who really knows. But yeah, I'm going to read this. It's not very long. I should be able to actually finish it today if I get started on it. If not, I'll definitely finish it tomorrow at my other job where I can just sit down, but I'm going to edit a video tomorrow. But yeah, um, so, so far my plans, finish one book, nailed it, start another book, about to nail it, um, film two videos, did not nail that. I will film them tomorrow after I get out of work, but yeah, I just wanted to update you all real quick, but I'm gonna go check out my fish now. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it is Monday now and I got just got to my other job. Um, well, I didn't just get here. I had to do quite a few things like pay some bills and all that. So I'm about to start editing a video to upload today. It should be up before this one that I'm filming right now. So I will leave a link in the upper corner for you all to watch that. But I did want to update you all real quick. I did start Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. I am on page, let me see here, 58 right now. I can definitely finish this today, I think, because once I am finished editing and uploading my video, I will still have maybe a couple hours of my day at work to read more of this. So I will most likely get a huge chunk of it done well at work but then when I get home I will probably be reading as well. I did want to also read a couple chapters of Stamped from the Beginning. I didn't read any 
yesterday or Saturday. So I need to kind of catch up on my reading of that because I do want to get like a good chunk of it done. I don't know how much I can get done today, but I'm going to try to read some of this. I also wanted to update you all on the fish situation that I talked about yesterday. So I mentioned that we got some fish and we followed all the procedures like you have to wait like 24 hours for the tank to get all like stabilized like conditioned like the water needs to be good for your fish to be in with a heater and all that kind of stuff and we waited we actually waited 20 or 48 hours you're supposed to wait at least 24 hours we waited 48 just because we couldn't get to the store to get to the fish uh, right away but we ended up getting four fish and two of them are dead already. <laughs> uh, I don't know for sure if the first one, like the first one literally died like two hours after we got it. I saw him floating. He was stuck to something like at the bottom of the tank. And then I jostled it a little and he just floated to the top. Um, I think maybe that one might have been slightly sick to begin with. I don't think it had anything. Maybe it was just like transporting it or something. I don't really know what caused that one's death. However, I have a strong suspicion that I have a killer fish in my tank. Mainly because the second one also died. <laughs> and it was the same type. I got um, two tetras and two like golden backed mollies or something like that which actually can be together in a tank we asked the opinion of the um the seller uh what fish would be going would go well with these mollies because we like the look of the mollies and they suggested all these different types of fish including tetras i looked it up online and everybody says that these two fish actually for the most part get along really really well so i'm like well let's do it they're both cool looking fish let's do it so we got two of each um both tetras are now dead so i noticed that after the first one died i didn't see anything going on with it but after the first one died i noticed that one of the mollies was like uh fin nipping the other tetra and i'm like well what do i do i was going to try to you know take the aggressive fish out of the tank put it in a separate thing and like they say to try to disorient it or something i was gonna try that i didn't get there in time um i had gone to bed woke up the next morning like four in the morning i actually got up at four in the morning to check on the fish and the second tetra was dead and i'm pretty positive that it is because it was scared and I feel really bad about it, um, and the, so now both of them are dead, uh, but my sister suggested that I name the killer fish Carol Baskins. <laughs> I think it's a great name, and I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I just wanted to update you all on that. Our tank is pretty cool looking, so I really, really want fish that actually can, uh, survive in it. But, yeah, so that's my update reel right now. I'm going to get to editing and uploading this video for you all. Um, well, not this one, but the other one. And then this one will go up on Wednesday, hopefully. But, yeah, uh, that, I just wanted to update you all. And, um... <laughs> We got a Carol Baskins. <laughs> hey guys, so it is Tuesday now and I realized that I forgot to update you all yesterday and finish out my vlog. I ended up not finishing Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. I just kind of got caught up doing other things. I was like scrolling on Twitter, you know, as one does. And I just was like not reading. I did read quite a bit though yesterday. I ended up reading, uh, give me one second here. I ended up reading 204 pages altogether from this. I will definitely be finishing it today. However, I'm going to be finishing this vlog out today because it's technically my weekend reading vlog. And I want to, when I get home from my job right now, it's currently 
10 after 7. <laughs> I had to go to my first job and then I have to go to my second job and that's where I'm at right now. Um, but once I get home from my second job, I want to be able to edit and upload this vlog. So I have to end it tonight. <laughs> Which is why you're not going to get the update on this. But maybe I'll update you on a future vlog for it. But I am enjoying it. It's very weird. It's strange. There's a lot of like interesting facts that I want to, or mysteries rather, that I want to figure out. And a lot of interesting facts that I'm, I'm receiving while reading this. I am definitely enjoying it. So in total, I ended up reading, for this vlog anyway, 533 pages so that's like really really good I read over 500 pages in a weekend which is like awesome for me but um I wish I could have finished this one I just decided that I wasn't gonna be reading but yeah anyway I wanted to update you all and close out this vlog so I hope you all enjoyed this video please comment down below and let me know if you're interested in either of these two books um, Seasons of the Storm came out the 23rd of June, yeah, 23rd of June, and Burn Our Bodies Down is coming out in July. I don't know exactly what day in July, but it's coming out in July. This one I'm really enjoying, whereas Seasons of the Storm I didn't really care for. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see you all next time. Bye!